What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna cover the blue support tier list. That way when you guys go to the battle point shop exchange or you want to choose a character for your chance card, you know exactly who to choose and who to pick from the blue color. Now I already did one for the red and I'm gonna do one for the green soon. So let's start at the bottom of this tier list and make our way up with the characters that only have two ties. Now these characters are by no means useless. They're just there to fill up whatever you need. So if you need someone with grand line and runner, you can put golden week. But if you need Grand Line Defender, you put Kaya. If you need New World Runner, you put Reiju. All right, that's how it's going to work. They're not important. But if you need someone to fill and you already have the max, then there you go. They're not bad. They're just there to fill. Next, we have the niche characters. Of course, these characters are not necessarily bad, but they're mainly going to be maxed just because they cover a niche. So, for example, if you need Logia with Ace, then you're just maybe trying to go up against characters with long range normals if you want kazuki that's uh because you want to reduce damage from normals when you're under 50 percent white beard pirates is basically seven warlords of the sea but you need to be under 50 percent hp not above so again these characters fill in a niche but white beard pirates we already have three blue here and two more free to play ones so if you have one white beard pirates bounty fast max you can actually go for it if you don't have seven warlord characters and just under 50 percent get more status infliction on yourself so you can increase the state time could work on some characters i'm not saying it's a good strategy but it's a strategy nonetheless right next we have navy i always say this you know if you don't have zone grand line navy might not be a bad start uh, of course if you don't have zone grand line but have navy that's weird but you know reducing knockback is very nice on defenders so you just don't fly away too far and you stay near the treasure so you can defend it better it's a very nice tag but we'll have to wait and see on which characters this can actually be useful on uh so far maybe any's lobby robin uh 33 three go actually made the video using navy tag and it's actually very nice on her i still prefer zone grand line but navy is fantastic because any's lobby's basically only weakness is knockback so you weaken that and there you go and his lobby is much stronger now now we have characters with three tags now for example these characters here are straw hats uh, she has paramecia instead and she has and sorry he has worse gen so Again, these characters are very nice. They can fill and they fill better than the characters with only two tags. And you'll see these often, especially Straw Hat Pirates, because, you know, they will just uh, finish up whatever you need. There are so many Straw Hats, you'll probably have a couple of them maxed. So the Straw Hat tag works out well. Now, we have here the Niche tag plus three tags. So these characters are like these guys where they have three tags, but they also have Niche tags at added to it so corazon for example has navy and don quixote pirates now this is actually pretty good he has fishman and captain so they have three tags plus one and he has three tags plus two so while he has five tags they're not really super useful they're mainly niche so i could put them back here because you will mainly upgrade them for your niche but i just decided just this one time i'll put them up there just to make a bigger discussion about them that's it at the end of the day these characters are pretty much here. You'll probably max out these characters more, but they're still fantastic choices. Absolutely, of course, Corazon, my boy. Next, you have four tags. Now, these characters are absolute must-max if you have them. Like, they're going to fill up whatever spot you need. I use this Robin and the Zora a lot. He has worse gens. He has Paramecia. He's the same as her, except he has Defender instead of Runner. And he has Grand Line. So if you want Grand Line, then you max him out. He's a three-star. You can buy him from the battle point exchange every single day right these characters are very good to fill up and you will use them often that's at least what i can say from my experience and next we're going to seven warlords there's one more blue seven warlords that at the top of the tier list if you guys saw the beginning of the video now of course this means above 50 percent you increase status infliction time not just of tremor and stat and stun but also on things you inflict to yourself so sabo's aflame state or akainu's aflame or whatever all these characters zoro the new Zephyr, you know, they're gonna increase their state time, which is very, very crucial. Miss Golden Week is probably the most notable blue one, but of course, there are only two blue free to play options, so you're gonna have to pair it up with other red seven warlords and green seven warlords that you have. That's the only way to make it work. Again, I'll showcase teams at the end here. Then we have characters with Zoan. So it's basically if you're using a defender, you need Zoan absolutely, and this gives you damage reductions against opponents you're weak to. So if you're blue, it will give you damage reduction against uh, greens. So that's very nice. And Zoan is such a crucial tag that it's like really up there. And these two, luckily, they're pretty old, and you know by now a lot of people have the max. And if not, buy their shards. They're very good, and they've been good since the game came out. So there you go. 
fantastic support characters but again there's going to be a tier above with zone grand line and i'll explain why that's better now we have the five tag characters these characters basically they're they're just super important to have now for example if you need strat pirates then you're not going to use him but he has worst gen he has captain Actually, he doesn't have Captain. He has Paramecia, he has New World, he has his tag, and he has the new Animal Kingdom, which is actually pretty rare. So he's a must-max if Animal Kingdom becomes more prominent as the Toby Ropo maybe get added into the game, and we get um, King maybe, and other stuff like that, maybe a new Kaido. So that might actually be insane. So yeah, definitely work on this. He might fill a niche in the future that you know, you'll be happy to have him maxed. And even if not, in Animal Pirates doesn't become good. He has four other good tags and he's solid overall. And he's a three star, so he's cheap to max out. And him, of course, very good. He's a Luffy and he's Grand Line. So if you need Grand Line, absolutely must max. This Luffy is fantastic. You'll be very happy to have him maxed. Next, we have Zone Grand Line. This means you'll get damage reduction against like, let's say you're blue, you're going to get damage reduction against blues and greens, right? Same color and the color you're weak to, which is just insane. So he's much better than these two choppers for your support. But of course, the other choppers are still a must max, obviously. So this is very good. Gives you more damage reduction. Probably the first one I would recommend maxing out of anyone under him because very, very solid. Next, you have these characters. They have six tags, just everything you want in a character. They're the solid foundation to everything. Now, I think he's limited, the Stampede Luffy. So if you didn't max him out, he came back recently. That's unfortunate. But still, the other two Luffys here, oh my god, you're going to use them no matter what blue team you have. And even sometimes in your red team, maybe you just need one more character. If you max them out, you can drop them in your red and green teams. They just have that many tags. They're that good. Attackers, New World, Shrat Pirates, Permisia, um captain worst gen everything you want so yeah and instead of strat pirates buggy has seven warlords which is again very crucial very rare so he's basically the same except instead of strat pirates he has uh, seven warlords now strat pirates is going to be more important most of the time but again seven warlords is definitely a must max tag you're going to get characters that will have this state inflicted on them and it's just going to be so good so let's take a look at team building right a couple teams that will feature what we learned here today so first off, we have the core, right? This is what I like to call the core. This is the new world tag. So of course, if you look at the tier list, right, there are many characters above these guys with four tags. Doesn't mean they're all more useful. Now, of course, these two, you could put them uh, over uh, Zoro and uh, Robin, but Zoro and Robin have worse gen and Paramecia, whereas these guys have Zoan. So unless you're going to have Zoan, Zoan's pretty useless on most times. So that's why you put these characters. But if you have them, they're still perfectly fine. Strat Pirates, New World, that's very important. So yeah, this is a core. You have this. You can start building from there with whatever blues you have. For example, this. And this will give you easily like six tags. You replace uh, maybe him with a worst gen character. You have worst gen. You have New World. You have Strat Pirates. You have Paramecia. Uh, you have one of the roles you have attackers probably here so very good on any attacker any runner you have you just throw this in you get high support high quality it's very very good and next we're gonna go about defenders again here very solid choice you need all three these two have new world this one has grand line and you want to pair it up with other zones from different colors and here i put three characters that are red but here's the thing these don't have only zone they have zone and grand line because you know, that way you just, you can free up these options and not lock them into having grand line, right? Because you will have one, two, three, four grand lines. So you just need two more grand lines and then that's it. If you pick these three with just Zoan, these other four is gonna, are going to have to be grand lines. So you know what I'm saying? So you want your other color to be Zoan grand line combo. So that's why I picked these three. And again, if you want to fill it up, instead of this uh, three star chopper or two star chopper, you can have this Luchi if you have him maxed out and stuff. But again, you fill it up. You put these two, right? Grand line. Again, if we look at the tier list, we have this Luffy again giving you amazing tags. And then you have her. She's only at three tags. But even if you don't have her, you can put any of these characters like Kaya, like her, that just give you grand line if that's what you need. And you fill it up. And then here, in this case, we just needed two more straw hats with the runner. So I put it in these two. Four tags and three tags. Again, see, it's not only about having the five tags. It's about just filling with what you need. Press here and you will see the select options of what you need to get more. And it's just very good, right? If you want to see this happening in game in me team building, I did that for the red. So you can go there. It's in the timestamps team building and you can go check it out there. And next, just a couple niche tags right here. If you're just going to use uh, seven warlords 
for Miss Golden Week, you're gonna need these two. These are the only two other seven warlords that are free to play. So again, if you have maybe the new Stampede Boa, if you have the Green Mihawk, if you have the old Boa, if you have like the old Gecko Moria, you can fill it up. You just need two more Bounty Fest ones, but these are the four that you're gonna have to max for now. And again, if somehow you don't have these four, which again, these two are super OG, he's a must max and he's a must max. So again, you need to get these four max. They're very important. But if somehow you don't have the max or maybe you just don't have other two seven warlords and you have the max, you can go ahead and try to make a white beard pirates team. So instead of above 50%, under 50%, you get status infliction increase. Now, again, this is really bad because you have to be at low HP compared to high HP, which means at the beginning of the game, you won't have it and blah 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 but maybe it's better than nothing i'm not sure i'm not saying anything but again you have three blues and then you have one green and one this so maybe if you got jozu and you max him out you put jozu here then you have six white beard parts and you just fill it up maybe with grand line and there you go you'll be good and you'll have some tankiness I don't know. It's not the best, but again, it's niche. It's what the point of the niche team is. If you have Don Quixote Pirates, you just throw them in, and that's how you go ahead and team build. So hopefully this helped, and hopefully I make my green video soon. So yeah, hopefully this enjoyed. Hopefully this enjoyed. Hopefully this helped, and hope you enjoyed. Peace.